darn. Too bad that, uh, Carolyn, yeah. So how's um, everything coming on uh, West Center? Is that still? Yeah, the uh, the they put it out to bid, and uh, nobody bid on it. So we're going to rebid it next year. Wow. So, but it's still should get done. It's crazy. Nobody bid. I could light those weeds on fire. Yeah, everybody's already out their projects. We could burn down that yeah. sign. Yeah. If we had a fire there, it would. Yeah. Now, if that sign, you know, gets burned yeah, up, you know who, who did it. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron. Should we start, Aaron? Mm -hmm. Should we go ahead and start? We'll just. We can start. So welcome us. I welcome you. We start. We have a <clears throat> unapproved agenda uh, minutes, probably. But we don't have enough people here to approve it, so. So it's unapproved. Should we should we state our names for the record? Okay, I'm Aaron Orulian. Tanya Harmon. April Nelson. Reed Price. Vicki Johnson. This is a uh, <coughs> ad hoc uh, meeting of those that uh, just wanted to come and see each other. So. We'll have to wait on the minutes. New minute taking procedure? Sure. Um, if you don't mind, I'll explain that. Uh, the, the state uh, changed the, uh, allowed some additional ways to take minutes. Uh, they allow us to just record the meetings and then summarize what was discussed in the minutes. So in just a couple of sentences, we can, April can state what the general idea that was discussed um, and then to take those along with those minutes um, attach a web link to a YouTube video which is basically just the audio recording which will take you to the beginning of that discussion item so for example uh, the minutes that I sent out um, it was just a brief summary with a hyperlink you click on it and it would open the YouTube video and you could listen to that discussion for uh, over and over again if you want. Um, and, and so as you go through the minutes you'll have different hyperlinks which will take you to the start of those discussion items. So it's, it's important for us um, to, once we discuss an item, let's discuss it and then end it and hopefully we don't go back to it because that gets oh. challenging to Okay. So, so we'll, we'll try to stay focused that in that regard. We could move things around still because April will s still just click the hyperlink and if we had needed to shift approval of the minutes to later in the meeting, we can do that if we have to to get a quorum and then her hyperlink would just take us to the point that we approve those even though it was agenda item number two and her minutes would reflect that this, this was moved to later in the meeting. But it, it's important to know that uh, um, it was a little more tedious to read through minutes um, and there was some discussion items you know, silly things that we talked about were not included in the minutes because they were just silly things that we talked about but now if someone's in and and they could have at requested a re audio recording of our meeting anytime they wanted but now it's just really easily accessible to them so just a reminder to everyone that everything that we discuss in here will be recorded and will be easily accessible to the public. That's not to say that we're, we're not hiding anything, we're just making committee members aware that that's the way we're going to do things now. It's much more efficient um, and easier for April, um, but just, just beware of that, that everything we say is recorded and will get uploaded to the World Wide Web. Any, any discussion or shall we move on? I just have a question, is that easier for you? Yeah, it's basically it's a matter of changing an MP3 to an MP4. So it's like a there's a it just shows the beautification mm -hmm. sign basically mm -hmm. it says Orem City Beautification Commission and then the recording. Yeah, oh, good. So. Yeah, April used to type out the minutes, yeah. and then we hired someone to do it, so it will be a cost savings as well. Oh, that's good. So I don't know how long it takes you to 
do do the MP4 and yeah, probably takes take much. a couple hours or so long. So it's, it'll be a good a good change. Good. Reed indicated that there's a change in the code for our commission. Yep. There were there were three uh, relatively minor uh, changes. First of all, the uh, the city council changed our membership numbers from nine to seven. So we now have seven official members of the quorum, or of, of the commission. Um, they also changed uh, a requirement um, to, to what constitutes a quorum. We can have a quorum with just three people here if we have, uh, if uh, we, let's see, how does that work? No, if, somebody, if only five people are appointed. So if two people oh. left the commission and we only had five people, we could still hold a meeting with three. Wow. So as long as it's a majority of how many are on are serving. Are appointed, yeah. So if we have vacancies, those don't count against nice. what we should have. Okay. So. And we have one vacancy and one inactive. Yep. So now we're... At seven. Okay. So. All right. The so we're not a quorum today. Are not, we? No, because we have seven people seven. appointed. Okay. We'd have to have four. Yep. Um, finally, uh, they changed the, the term. Terms are still three years. Uh, it used to be that you can only serve two terms. They changed that to allow people to serve as many terms if they as they would like if they wanted to. We're not going to twist your arm to do so. But there have been people in other commissions that really liked serving and didn't want to get kicked didn't off. Didn't want to go. That's good. And so they, you know, I'd like you. CDBG. CDBG. Well, you're here now, Vicki, okay? I am here. I like yard signs. <laughs> now, let's discuss a, a stipend for our being here. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't even bring that up. Yeah. So those, those are the three main changes that they, that they made in the code. Um, that, that was at staff's request because, as you know, it's difficult to to recruit people. We haven't had a full group of nine for a long time. Um, so anyway, that's uh, and then when when we <coughs> when we only had seven, we felt we still had to have five people here when we could have had four mm -hmm. and still held a meet uh, an official meeting. Mm. So. Good changes, in my opinion. Yeah. Good. I do, too. I think that's great. Have you seen our, our sign? Our sign? Oh, that's the next item, our, deck, our Christmas yeah. signs that we that's can fun. give out. So this is the uh, Holiday Decoration Award sign uh, for this year. That's awesome. Um, so we, we, have, we ordered 20 of them. Um, and with seven members, that gives everybody three. Typically, we've done two in the past. I ordered a few extra in case somebody want, uh, wanted to have an extra or two. Take um, three of them? But we, you're welcome to take up to three. Okay. And whoever's the last one to show up, if there's just two left, that's all they get. So, um, but, uh, so that, that's the sign. Um, just like the Yard Awards on the... On the screen behind you there, Aaron, um, this is the, oh, I should say, before I talk about this, we have eight areas because we had nine members and Aaron took care of businesses. So I'm going to redraw these uh, to divide the, the city up into seven different areas. Okay. Uh, maybe six if you <clears> want to keep the business idea that, that, that we've had in the past. So the, these boundaries will, will change. Um, so back to the uh, award. These are all of the, the red are all of the um, awards that were given out over the summer. Uh, the yellow are the, the holiday decoration awards from last year. Mm. So just mm. to show you um, uh, where <coughs> these, these are all the people that were recognized. When you uh, give one out, You'll use the same Neighborhood Beautification Award program online form mm -hmm. and <coughs> fill it out with the information and it'll, it'll walk you right through it. Um, but so it, it's going to look just the, it, it's it is just the, the same. same. Okay. It is the same, but it's got kind of a summary twist to it, so just read between the lines and know that 
Yeah. That we're just we're doing holiday decorations right. December instead. December and November. Yeah. I didn't want to make a whole yard. new form just for. <laughs> yeah, this works. So, uh, so when you award one, um, just follow the instructions that that are spelled out here. It walks you through these seven different steps. <coughs> So wear your shirt, well, you know, you probably have a coat on, so don't worry <laughs> about that. Um, approach the home and identify yourself as a member of the Beautification Commission and the reason why you're there. Present them with the sign, uh, which, they're, which they get to keep. Let them place it in their lawn. Ask to take a picture of their property. Suggest that the picture be, uh, suggest that they be in the sign. Of course, you might be doing it at night and, you know, you know, it's hard to take yeah. pictures of Christmas lights. For yeah, they don't. Sh they're not as spectacular, yeah, sure, are they? <laughs> yeah. If they say yes. Take a picture. Um, if they would allow you to post it to the city's Facebook page or website, and then uh, fill out the rest of this form. And this form's pretty self-explanatory. Just asks you the date that you gave it, put your name, what area you're in, and it wants me to answer. Before I continue on, so we're going to kind of keep the same boundaries for now. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate the referrals that have come through, and I did go to every single one. Good. The majority of them were. Really? They have a berm. <laughs> Get the car off your front lawn that's next to the berm, and we'll give you a sign. Uh, but yeah, one of mine that got that um, I couldn't find the address. Like there, it didn't exist. Oh really? Yeah. When are we going to add That's a vineyard? I didn't know what to do. We need their. You know, there's homes right in vine that, because my son's in Vineyard, and right across the street from me is Orem, and then Vineyard Elementary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's like one street that's Orem down there. We ought to annex Vineyard. No, that's not going to happen. If that was to happen, that should have happened 20 years ago. And they wanted to be their own little They're town. They're thriving now and yeah. taking off. So anyway, uh, okay. then some information about the award recipient, name, address, zip code. We need that information so that April can send a letter from the mayor thanking them for their... So they will get spirit. a letter for this award too. That's correct. People like that. Yeah. They think that. I always say, will you get a letter from the mayor? Oh, I'm so honored. <laughs> and then indicate whether or not they verbally agreed to let you take a picture of their home. Did they verbally agree to post the picture online? And then upload any pictures. If they didn't allow you to take pictures, don't upload any pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we should okay. get a Grinch picture or something. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's it. As you go out, feel free to take uh, two or three signs as well as uh, two or three uh, metal stakes. Um, and uh, we, would, we would request that you wait until after Thanksgiving, maybe the first, first week of December would December. be a good time when people should have all of their lights out. Yeah. Don't wait till right before Christmas and don't do it before Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> good. Number six, uh, ideas, goals for 2020. Mm -hmm. And um, I just thought uh, we, we will be meeting next in January, and as in years past, the city council has asked us to report in February. So we will meet to finalize our goals for 2020, and I imagine they're going to look something similar to 2019. I, I felt that we did a good job this year. Uh, <coughs> accomplishing the things that we did. We set some realistic, achievable goals uh, that, that made a difference. So I thought I would just review those um, with, the, with the commission um, and see if anybody had any ideas as we prepare for the January meeting in a couple of months so that we... I'm just wondering, is there anything new we want to do? Well, let, let's review these goals and then okay. at the end of that we can say, does anybody have any ideas of anything <coughs> we want to do? Okay. So the first was participate in Orem's Centennial. So this is probably not going to repeat for another hundred mm -hmm. years. And uh, what we did, uh, we wanted to participate in and support the city's planning efforts to plant 100 trees for the Centennial Celebration. This group did that and the city accomplished that goal. Uh, being involved in project considerations such as Center Street improvements between I-15 and 800 West. 
and involves with any other centennial activities or events that help to beautify our city. Uh, the Commission supported the budget to fund the Center Street improvements and that was approved. However, nobody bid on our project so we have to rebid at a later date. So we'll, we, will, we will do that. And it's, we kind of wonder if, if the amount of money would, uh, budgeted was enough. We budgeted $300,000 and, and no bids came in to let us know. So when we post, when we rebid it, it might be possible that it's going to come in over budget and we'll have to get additional funds next year. But it is something that the city council wants to, to get done and, and get, uh, get done because uh, if you've driven Center Street, you can see it's... Yeah. Where do those funds come from? Just the city or is there a grant or... Yeah, there's general fund uh, monies uh, that were uh, made available at the end of the year, okay. surplus funds. And those carry over? Yes. Yep. And um, so, just a just a question. You, so, when you put out the bid, you do you put out the the amount then? No. Oh, okay. No, but any keen uh, contractor could look through a budget and figure out what oh. what what was earmarked for it. Mm. But they they're they're competing with the open market, so yeah, they, they need to meet our our. Uh, specs that we put out as, and design and time frame and so the low bid gets the gets the contract right. but when there are no bids the project yeah. doesn't get done uh, the next goal was to promote worthwhile practices that enhance the beauty of Orem um, and uh, related to that overarching goal is encourage Orem residents and businesses to beautify their yards and properties through the rec through recognition awards and recognize residents and businesses during the holiday season for their efforts in decorating with lights and displays, which we're doing. Encourage the City Council to approve the proposed zero escaping policy, which they did. Participate in the City's Arbor Day activities that help sustain Orem's Tree City USA designation, which it did. Um, then educate residents on City Code uh, regarding the posting of yard sale signs and advertisements on City Street. Uh, light posts and signs and that was one of the that was included in our the newsletter earlier this year um, the last goal is to promote the roles and activities of the beautification commission update and maintain the commission's uh, bulletin board at city hall i know elaine took charge of that i she we will let her report on that she tried to get me to do it this next year and i don't want to do it <laughs> i'm just putting it out there okay. i don't want to do it <laughs> Then continue to promote the, the commission and beautification activities and educational opportunities through its Facebook page and city newsletter, which we did. Everybody submitted, took turns submitting things. There was some, a couple of hiccups when I submitted things and the email didn't get read before they published it. And a little frustrating there, but um, we got it in subsequent newsletters. And then finally to participate in the Summerfest Parade. So those were the goals. And, <coughs> and sub goals that were done. I, I thought we did a good job this year in, in accomplishing them. So I imagine many of these will be repeats next year. Which leads to your question, Aaron. Is yeah, I think we ought we to, to just put out a to the crew and say, look, uh, is there something we else we can do around here to make this place look better? Is there some other idea? Okay. And come come back with something else. I mean, we've done several different things. If I can send a follow up email after this meeting to the group. Yeah, so we can, we as you drive around town, you know, we can see if we think there's something. Uh, I know if if you go down and look at Provo, they've sure done a lot to make their city look nice. You know, I don't know whether. But one of my big things is trees. You know, and I see that they put trees down their their uh, university, uh, university Avenue, I guess they call that. And it doesn't the businesses don't seem to be bothered by it. But uh, one of my things is more trees down uh, <coughs> um, our main street down there. Of course, that's that's you, Dot. Which street? State Street. State Street. Yeah, there are there are plans to do that. The yeah. State Street Master Plan was was adopted, and they 
they they as State Street is it if and when it's expanded, that's they want to do something similar to what they've done on University Parkway. Something else, you're clever. If you look at this little dot on here, it looks like it could be pushed off. It's an optical illusion. What's that? The little dot, yellow dot. The yellow dot. Warm. I tried to push. I tried to move. <laughs> Yeah, it does, huh? It looks like you could... Yeah, you could, uh, <laughs> it's like a little... I was trying to see there. You could flick that off. I saw it. I noticed deal. it on something in here, and it's like, <clears throat> what is that? It's a good optical uh, illusion. I just built it, but now I see it's a watermark. Hmm. I thought it was something raised, and I was trying to... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but anyway, just for us to think about stuff, I, I know they're putting in a new library, and that looks nice, and... Will. Um, <laughs> Big mess right now. And I heard, I know there was something about replacing the light poles down uh, State Street, the ones that uh, the, the south. Is that in that master plan? Mm, uh, I can report <clears throat> back to you and let you know. Because I know we were thinking about eventually putting banners down uh, South State Street. Yeah. Starting from Center Street. You know. I'll ask about that, Aaron, and report back. Because I think those um, those light fixtures were kind of fragile. You sneeze on them and they fall over or something like that. <laughs> okay, that's the only thing I have a concern about. Otherwise, any other items that uh, I guess we just talked about other items and. <clears throat> I don't have anything. Other than that, uh, thanks for coming. Grab your signs and a steak on your way out. And uh, thank you for being here. So now what happens with the minutes? Do they just roll over and we have to approve them at another meeting? Or what yes. Happens? Mm -hmm. okay. The August so. ones. We'll have approved the August and this November 1st or 4th. Uh, no, since it's not a quorum. These, I can actually, will be posted online and it will just say no quorum, notes only. Okay. So I'll send you the link, but it's... Um, also, the, the meeting in January, is it on the 27th? Yes. Okay. Yeah, should be, is that the 4th? Yes. The 4th Monday. So let's hope we all come back here in one piece. No. Yeah. The 6th. Oh. No, wait. Plans I mean, what am I? 27th. <laughs> yeah, I got it for the 27th. <laughs> oh, okay. Are we still going to meet if we have like a, a meteor heading for the Earth or a volcano or something? Yes. Are you yes, expecting something? Like, quit going to the movies. Yes, Aaron. You, we expect you to be I've been here. watching all those disaster movies on the Gosh. Amazon Prime. <laughs> but you know, the thing is, in all those movies, it seems like the only place it gets destroyed is Los Angeles. It's always Los Angeles. Because it's, it's such a scuzzy place. place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was good to hear the goals for this year, because I hadn't ever heard it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So that's good. That is good.